we are so excited for our next guest here under palm trees. We are talking today to Javier from By Appointment, which really is the most incredible florist. He has worked with so many hotels, fashion brands, not to mention weddings and houses. We wanted to find out what inspires him and why he, his clients love him so much. So here's the interview. So welcome, Javier. How are you? Hi, how are you? I'm good. I'm very good. Glad to be back in London at the hotel. Oh, that's great. So let's talk about your journey into floristry. Did you always like flowers and how did you come up with by appointment? So actually my journey into flowers started um, working in fashion. I used to see a lot of flowers in stores and a lot of flowers in, in shopping centers. And then like most students do, I, I started working in events at a catering company called Last Supper. There was a lovely girl in the corner called Rebecca. She used to make flowers for all the events. And I used to look and I go, oh, I could do that. And uh, literally I finished my degree. I borrowed some money from my parents and I started up by appointment only design in Chilton Street, which was God, 14, 15 years ago. Oh, wow, amazing. And it was actually, the name was because we could only understand what you wanted by having an appointment. So it was only through that appointment that we could actually then quote and come up with ideas for either an event or for your house or for, or for any flowers that you might need. That's a really great, that's lovely. I love that. Thank you. That's great. And Javier, hi. So we know you worked with so many different clients from um, fashion to royalties as well. So we would like to know when it comes to Middle East and clients, do they have like a favorite flowers? Do they use different flowers for different occasions? Tell us, tell us, tell us about it. I mean, Middle Eastern clients uh, are ones that um, are quite sure about what they want. They tend to like bold and um, uh, quite vivid colors. We never really tend to use much whites or pastels. That's only sort of more for baby showers or, or weddings, but they usually tend to like reds, purples, fuchsias. Um, when it comes to sort of m more masculine events, maybe they'll go into oranges and mixing it with purples. Um, but it really does depend on the specific client and what they like. Um, and again, the season, because obviously we have to be, be mindful of what is available. Yeah. Of course. So aside from flowers, we want to know, do you have any other passions? Um, so, I mean, I studied fashion. Um, so I love, love, love and follow up every single season what trends are coming, what's happening. We try to integrate interiors also into what we do. Um, as you might know, maybe other people don't, but we do a lot of styling too. So where we transform rooms um, to, to, to be a, of another purpose. So say, for example, it might be a hospital room or it might be a lounge and we turn it into um, a meeting space or a, or a lounge um, by using furniture, lighting, flowers and a combination of everything that would work beautiful in an interior. That's really brilliant. I love that. Thank you. So Javier, so 2020, of course, has been like um, a challenging year, year for everyone. So how did you dealt with 2020? Do you have any tips for us? I mean, it was, as you, as you all know, it was really unexpected and it all happened so quick. Um, it, it, it almost felt like we were watching a movie unfold in front of ourselves. We were really lucky at the beginning that we were able to switch from flowers to fruit and vegetable boxes delivered to your door. Um, that was really popular for about two months. Um, and then when people got confident about shopping out again and supermarkets stocked with all the essentials, then people started leaving uh, the house a bit more and not, not necessarily um, ordering fruit and veg. But what did happen was that flowers started coming back through Holland um, so we were able to offer that again with the fruit and veg boxes for those people that were perhaps um, a bit scared or um, what's the exact uh, phrase? They were just uh, more prone to maybe catching COVID. Um, we've had to, as many businesses have, we've had to adapt to, and change. As soon as um, a lot of our corporate clients um, opened, they've had to sort of cut budgets back and we've had to be, we've had to be clever. We've had to be open and very responsive. Um, I think the, the most important thing is that um, it's not clients' faults that um, there's a, a pandemic. It's actually the world. So we have to be really respectful of that. So where perhaps we were doing flowers, we're doing a lot of plants. 
where perhaps clients were seen to do lavish events. They're just doing something smaller for sort of six or eight people at home. So there's still a lot of smaller gatherings, but just very, just more familiar, just small families, yeah. Yeah, and all within the rules, isn't exactly, it? Exactly, exactly, yes. I mean, there's different different countries do, do have different rules and we do operate also in Spain and not just in London. So it's quite, I mean, we can travel all over the world, but because of restrictions, we can't at the moment. But by appointment only have done jobs in Florence, Hong Kong, oh, um, wow. Paris, Frankfurt, Fl many places. Yeah. Wow, that's exciting. Mm. I mean, we oh. haven't done something abroad for a while, but it would be interesting to do something and see what challenges come up with. Yeah, I mean, hopefully 2021 will be, um, will be a better year. So tell us, what is next for By Appointment? So I've actually been exploring a little project. Um, so as you know, how do you say, um, small businesses are being encouraged, to, well, uh, people are encouraging small businesses to grow and not going necessarily to sort of the larger, more mass market uh, places. So I've been looking into getting a little van that would drive around London and stop at um, sort of street corners and offer flowers, coffee, cake, oh. um, fruit and veg, home essentials, but all from not, not, not the super high end, but things that are affordable for people like you and me, as well as our more um, wealthier clients. My God, that's such a brilliant idea. I love that. You know, those sort of um, uh, French, um, how do you call them, the, the coffee vans that drive around and festivals and they open up yeah. the back of the truck. Um, yeah. so I've been looking into getting one of those. It'd be quite Interesting. fun. Interesting. Yeah, because I think these food trucks also have gained a lot of popularity, haven't they? Exactly. It's, it's a bit like the old ice cream vans that sort of mm. pop up in corners. So I've been exploring the licensing and how health and safety would work, etc., so that we can actually offer that in London for our London clients. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Well, thank you. This was such a great interview. So, um, but before we let you go, we have our five fire questions for you. No problem, fire away. Yeah. Perfect. So the first one to start with is palm trees or pine trees? Difficult one. Um, palm trees for sure, because they don't throw as much pollen as pine trees do. Oh, wow, I like that. I like that one. Second question is, are you a sea person or a snow person? I'm a sea person, but I don't actually go in the sea that much. <laughs> I look at it from afar. <laughs> Perfect. And the next one is cars or planes? Ooh, um, if you saw my car, you'd probably think I'm a mad person because it's full of bashes and bumps and everything. So probably planes. Yeah. Perfect. This one, I love it. It's you are a pasta person or a rice person? Definitely rice. Paella over um, pasta any day. <laughs> and then the last one is health or wealth? I think that has to be a combination of both. I can't answer, you know, I think it's all about not just um, physical health, but also mental health. And I think sometimes money allows you to calm and breathe a little bit so a combination of both so sorry i can't answer one defined question that's great well thank you so much this was really good fun and we will post all the social links so you guys can follow javier and by appointment so thank you very much